Hello, welcome to the session on Scrum Team Roles and Responsibilities of Scrum Master and Product Owner. Let us see the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to describe Scrum Team Roles and Responsibilities. The Scrum Team consists of three roles, the Scrum Master, the Product Owner and the Development Team. Anyone outside the core team does not have any direct influence over the team. Each of these roles in the Scrum has a very clear set of responsibilities which we will discuss in this tutorial in detail. Under this section, let us focus on the attributes of Scrum team as a whole and the ideal team size. Let us see the Scrum Team Attributes. Self-organized Scrum Teams are self-reliant and self-sufficient in terms of accomplishing their work without the need for external help or guidance. The team are competent enough to adopt the best of the practices to achieve their sprint goals. Cross-functional Scrum Teams are the teams having all the necessary skills and proficiency within the team to accomplish their work. These teams do not rely on anyone outside the team for completing the work items. Thus, the Scrum team is very creative amalgamation that is the result of combining or uniting, uniting of different skills that are required to complete the entire work item. Each team member may not necessarily have all the skills required to build the product, but it is competent in his or her area of expertise. Having said that, the team member need not be a cross-functional, but the team as a whole has to be. The teams with high self-organization and cross-functionality will result in high productivity and creativity. Let us see the team scrum team size. The recommended development team size in scrum is 6 plus or minus 3 that is from 3 to 9 members which do not include the scrum master and the product owner. Now let us move ahead and discuss each of these roles in detail. Scrum Master is the person who is responsible for facilitating or coaching the development team and the product owner to work on the day-to-day -day development activities. He is the one who ensures that the team understands the Scrum values and principles and is able to practice them. At the same time, Scrum Master also assures that team feels enthusiastic about Agile in order to achieve the best out of the framework. Scrum Master also helps and supports the team to become self-organized. Apart from educating and training, the team members regarding the importance of Agile is also responsible to make sure that the team feels motivated and strengthened at all the times. He also works on boosting up the communication and collaboration amongst the team members. So who is Scrum Master? The eight misunderstood stances of Scrum Master, EGA Scrum Police, Hero, Scribe, Secretary, Coffee Club, Chairman, Admin or Team Boss. No, he is not. The eight preferred stances of Scrum Master is Impedient Remover, Achieving something difficult or impossible, facilitator, he is a coach, teacher, servant leader, manager, 
change agent or his mentor. Scrum master is a process leader who helps the scrum team and the others outside the scrum team to understand scrum values, principles and practices. Let us see the different roles and responsibilities of Scrum Master. Coach The Scrum Master acts as an agile coach for both the development team and the product owner. The Scrum Master in a way he acts as an enabler for proper communication between the development team and the product owner. The Scrum Master stays responsible to eliminate the obstacles between both the other roles. Product owner is not getting involved or not giving a proper time to the development team. Then it is the scrum master's job to coach the product owner regarding the importance of his involvement to the overall team success. Next is a facilitator. Facilitates and organize all the scrum events requested by the scrum team members. He facilitates the team in making important decisions that would increase the productivity of scrum team as a whole. The scrum master never orders the team members to do something, rather he helps them in achieving it by coaching and guiding. Next one is removing impedi impediments removing the impediments that impact the team's productivity in delivering business any impediment that the team members cannot resolve on their own comes to the scrum master for resolution prioritizing these impediments based on their impact on the team's productivity and businesses and starts working on them. Interference Gatekeeper Safeguards the scrum team from the outside interference and distraction so that the team can remain focused on the delivering the best value to the businesses after every sprint. The interference can be of greater concern if the team is working in a scaled scrum environment where multiple scrum team is working together and have the dependencies amongst them. He makes sure that the team stays out of any irrelevant discussion and focuses on the sprint items whereas he himself takes the responsibility of addressing the queries and concerns that are coming from outside. Servant leader referred to as a servant leader of scrum team, one of his most important responsibility is to ask the scrum team for their concerns and to make sure that they are addressed. It is the duty of Scrum Master to confirm that the essential requirements of the teams are prioritized and met to let them work effectively and produce a high performing results. Process Improver The Scrum Master along with the team is responsible for regularly improvising the processes and practices employed to maximize the value being delivered. It is not the scrum master's responsibility to get the work done, but it is his responsibility to enable the team to devise a process that would let them complete their sprint goals. Now let us pause the video for a while and answer the question. Is scrum master part of the scrum team? True or false? Yes, Scrum highly relies on the highly motivated, closely collaborating, cross-functional and self-organized teams. 
so scrum master is a part of the scrum team scrum is not a full process or methodology it is a framework it does not in provide a complete detailed description of how everything is to be done scrum team is uh, given the pro power of deciding how the most of the things should be done the team will know the best how to solve the problem as they are presented this flexibility is the key success factor of the scrum so scrum master he is a part of the scrum team as a summary scrum master is a scrum team member he is a collaborative he is a protective he is helping in nature problem solver committed and available all the time he is knowledgeable these are the following references i referred thank you